Hey guys, how's it going? Clayton Motos here, and today I am addressing a problem with my front brakes. I'm not building any pressure in them, and so I'm going to rebuild the master cylinder, and it's not a very complicated process. It doesn't take a lot of time, so I'm just going to walk you guys through it real quick, and let's get into it. Okay, so in the kit, we've got a new um, plunger cap here. Got the two seals that go on the plunger itself, new crush washers, um, bolts, the snap ring and the spring. So we're gonna go ahead and tear the whole thing apart. All right, so we need to get the lever off, which is just, um, depending on your setup, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter nut on the bottom and a 10 millimeter um, bolt on top. All right, so after I get the lever off and this little plunger out, I'm actually going to get rid of all the fluid inside the cylinder here so we don't pour it all out when we take out the um, plunger. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to pull out the cover here, and there is a snap ring right there that I'm going to pull out next. All right, got that snap ring out, and then you're going to pull out this little washer and the plunger itself. Okay, and if it doesn't come out immediately, don't forget the spring. So I went ahead and put the new cap on the plunger and I'm going to now remove the O-rings off of here. So it looks like on this particular bike, the one that goes in the back is the one with the little cutouts on the side. This is the old one and here's the new one. So you can see it has those same cutouts. So I got both those seals off the plunger here. Now we're going to install the new ones. Okay, so I got I soaked those in some brake fluid and I'm gonna go ahead and install the rear one now. I'm gonna put it with the cup part facing out to, and I like to think of it like that so that it holds all the fluid. All right, so we got both those new seals put on there and we're going to take the new spring and set it inside like that and this whole assembly is ready to slide back in. With some brake fluid on the part here, we're going to go ahead and slide it back in its housing. Alright, wiped off this washer, go ahead and stick that back in there. And then the new um, circlip here, um, we're going to install. Alright, we got that new snap ring installed. And the last step here is Installing the new plunger and um, cover. The last step here is going to be reinstalling the lever, which is sometimes a tricky ideal or ordeal, but go ahead and put some grease on it so that you'll have smooth lever operation later after you get everything installed. Alright, and that's how to rebuild your master cylinder. Okay guys, so that's the master cylinder rebuild. We've got pressure on the brakes now and we're ready to rock. So I'll see all you guys in the next video.